Everything is pretty much the same until about here, but Roger then keeps his hand below shoulder level. Whereas Daniel here keeps going up further and further with his hand into this position right here. And that is a huge difference. It costs a lot of time and that forces him to play so far behind the baseline. The rest of Daniel's forehand is really excellent. Here you can see very similar positions. Now this is a higher ball. Daniel does not really get under the ball because he's trying to really hit a flat down the line shot but he does get under the ball he does get on the inside position another difference we see here though is look how Daniel's racket is laid back already in this phase whereas Roger has the tip of the racket to the right side and this allows Roger to maximize also what we call lag on the forehand where he pre-stretches the forearm muscles here and really generates even more energy